Hey everyone, welcome to Royce Sports. I am your host, Royce, and on today's video, we're gonna be talking about Xbox in the year 2024 because they have a lot to be excited about. And in fact, it might be even better than 2023. So let's talk about it. All right, if you know that 2023 was a phenomenal year for Xbox. It was a fantastic year for Xbox, and it's been a while since they've had a year this good. And in fact, it kind of reminds me of the girl in high school, you know, the one that's built like a linebacker, the one with braces, with glasses the size of Coke bottles, with bad acne, and you see her at the reunion, and all she has now is just a plain old lisp, but she's a 10 out of 10, and that's what Xbox did for, during the Xbox one generation. They were that girl in high school and now in 2023 Have that ugly duckling syndrome going on, which is Great to see it's finally good to see Xbox hit their cadence and 2024 Looks like it could be on par with 2023 if not better In fact, I'm more excited about 2024 than I have been for 2023 because some of the games that are confirmed for 2024 are some that I'm actually more excited about and that's what I want to get into today is the games that are going to be releasing from Xbox first party in 2024. So let's get it started. So starting off the bat, we're going to be talking about Hellblade 2. Hellblade 2 was just at the Game Awards and this looks fantastic. It looks like Ninja Theory is again going back to being perfectionist in regards to Hellblade and that's why it's taken so long for them to deliver this game, but 2024 looks like we're finally going to be able to get our hands on Hellblade. No matter what I think of the combat, this game looks stunning. It just looks like the very first game to come out that can actually stress the Xbox Series X to its limits. And that is what I'm eager to experience. This has been confirmed for 2024. This is the game that we could all look forward to playing this year. Moving on, we also have Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. This is coming from Asobo Studios. They're the team behind A Plague Tale Innocence and A Plague Tale Rec Room, as well as the original Microsoft Flight Simulator. And it seems to me that they are doing more of the same, more work with cloud and pushing that industry forward with the tech at their hands. They are a stunning team and it, is, it continues to have a great relationship with Xbox. Another game that is also confirmed from first party coming out in 2024 is avowed. This is coming from Obsidian Entertainment, and this is the first AAA game underneath the Xbox banner. They have released games already like Grounded and Pentiment, but those are smaller games. I wouldn't consider them indie, but they're definitely smaller. And this is their first time actually using the money and backing of Microsoft at their side to be able to deliver us a great experience and something that Obsidian are masters at. So it's really cool to see them return to that form. This game is one of my most highly anticipated games of 2024, just because of the track record of Obsidian and the way they handle RPGs. There is no one else in the business that do it like Obsidian. We also know that there's some other third party games coming to Xbox in 2024. We know Aura History Untold is a game that's gonna be coming, it's an RTS. So if that's something that you're into, then this might be up your alley. We also know that Towerborn will be releasing in 2024. This is coming from Stoic, the guys behind Banner Saga, and they seem to be taking a lot of inspiration from Castle Crashers, which is a game from the 360 era that I absolutely love. If they're able to capture what Castle Crashers is and deliver it to us in a new, unique way, I think it'll be very refreshing, and I think that this is something that we could really use in 2024. Now that Xbox owns Activision, we could also count them as being a first party studio. And we know that Activision is gonna be releasing another Call of Duty, of course, but this Call of Duty is a little bit different. This is the first Call of Duty to have a four year dev cycle. That is one year than most, and that is about three and a half years more than Modern Warfare 3 had. But this is Treyarch kind of going back to their roots. And this is a very exciting thing. I feel like this could, potentially refresh Call of Duty and make it more entertaining. There's also rumors of them returning to Verdansk in Warzone. So if you're a big Warzone player, you know how important that map is to a lot of players, including myself. That is somewhere that I'm excited to drop back into, and I hope they can deliver on that front. 
some of the details that have come out from Tom Henderson about Call of Duty Black Ops is that it's going to be set in the near future and there are rumors that it's going to be a direct sequel to Black Ops 2. So take this with a grain of salt. There's also some rumors that it was going to be Desert Storm. I feel like we haven't really got a definitive answer on which it's going to be, but either way, some of the definitive answers that we do have is that they are going to be completely revamping the movement system, as well as having a combination of remastered maps from Black Ops 2, as well as putting on their own new maps. And it seems like they're going to be incorporating the Pick 10 Create class, Gunfight Game Mode is going to be coming back, and another year of round-based zombies which is something that uh, i feel like a lot of zombie fans have been wanting to return so this seems like a whole entire package when it comes down to call of duty when it comes down to multiplayer and when it comes down to zombies as well as warzone it seems like this year is going to be the year for call of duty so that's all the things that are coming from first party with a few third party deals for exclusives but we also got to talk about game pass because game pass is going to be a big year for 2024 I think a lot of those games that are coming to Game Pass in 2024 are going to be on the top of some people's list as the most anticipated games of 2024. Those include things like Hollow Knight, Silk Song, it includes Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. Now we know that they have been having a difficult time with the conflict between Russia and the Ukraine. So if this game does come out, hopefully it comes out in a polished and finished state. We know that from previous gameplay of it at different events that people mentioned how choppy and glitchy uh, some of the gameplay was. So hopefully they are able to get that ironed out before release. But either way, they've dealt with a lot the past few years. So hopefully this game does make the 2024 release date. Persona 3 Reload is also a big game that is coming to Xbox Game Pass. I just feel like there's a lot of people excited about Persona, especially since they finally brought it over to Xbox, and all of the major releases of Persona have hit Xbox Game Pass day and date, and this one is no different. Arc 2 is something that a lot of people are super excited about. Vin Diesel's even attached to this. They just recently launched their remastered version of Arc, so Hopefully that vitalizes the community, but Art 2 is rumored to be launching in 2024. Flintlock The Siege of Dawn is a third person action adventure game that I am really interested in. I've only seen a few of the trailers, but they've already sold me on this. It got pushed to 2024, but hopefully they did the right thing and were able to polish this game so that way when it does launch, it launches in a great state. Replaced is another game that is really exciting to me. I love the aesthetic. I love the way they use the cyberpunk slash pixel art. I think they've naturally wove two concepts together that just fit perfectly. And I can't wait to play this. It seems a lot like Limbo, but hopefully there's a little bit more to it. But the action looks on beat and everything looks fantastic. And those are games that are going to be launching into Game Pass day and date and just just so you understand, there's those games plus all of those games from Xbox First Party that are going to be coming into Xbox Game Pass day and date for you to experience. And that is a huge list of fantastic games. And that alone gets me excited. We also know that they're going to be bringing some Activision Blizzard games into the foray as well. So we can look forward to that. Hopefully that means Spyro and Crash and all the Call of Duties and even more Diablo, whatever it is that they have. Hopefully they can put it into Game Pass and deliver that to us this year because I know a lot of people really wanted it before the holidays, but just gives you a more reason as to why you should be getting Game Pass. There's also rumors of a few other games coming from first party that I kind of want to talk about that aren't really confirmed, but there have been ratings for these games, which include South of Midnight and Clockwork Revolution. Now, usually when a game gets rated, that means that it's near finished and that could potentially release within the next year or two. And because we've already seen Clockwork Revolution, I think that this game is closer to release than we already think, and especially since Inexile is a talented team. I think they'd be able to deliver this in 2024, but you kind of have to hold your breath on that one. And the same goes for south of midnight so there's some rumors going around that this could be a surprise launch at some point in 2024 with potential dlc planned but this is a game that has also been rated by the rating board in australia so this is a release that could potentially be hitting 2024 i kind of want to see more i don't really have an idea of what this game will be i like the trailer but since it was a cgi trailer you don't really get an idea of what the gameplay is like of 
how the story is going to be. It just right now is just something that is very interesting. Other potential games that we could be getting in 2024 are something like an Oblivion remaster because this was leaked during the FTC trial as well as a Fallout 3 remaster. Now these games were initially slated to release in 2022 and 2024 respectively but things have changed maybe there's more investment in there maybe they are finished and they're just holding on to them but i think that we could potentially see both of these especially since the fallout series is going to be hitting amazon prime this year i think having a fallout 3 remaster will only help you and we also know that Right now, currently they're working on the Fallout 4 next gen update, and that includes both PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S version of that. So that is also something else that we can look forward to coming from that team. It has been in the news lately in regards to a Mandalorian game. Now, I don't think this is actually gonna be occurring. This is something that I feel like is getting blown out of proportion. I don't think that they're making the Mandalorian game. In fact, I think that they're probably making the next Doom game. We have documents talking about this in the FTC trial, which is Doom Year Zero. I think that could be their next game or Quake. One of those two, I don't think they'll be going in and diving in with the Mandalorian. Now, I would love to see that because I think it is a very talented team. And I'd like to see them tackle something a little bit different than a first person shooter. And I think the Mandalorian should be a third person adventure game but you know maybe they can change that opinion of mine if they ever do a first person shooter of the mandalorian but as it stands i don't think that is happening and i think that's either going to be quake or potentially the next doom and i think they will be talking about this and we can get some more information about this in 2024. Another thing we're going to be seeing in 2024 is Indiana Jones as a, not as a release date, but as a reveal, I think we'll finally get to see what Machine Games is doing with Indiana Jones. This is actually coming from Todd Howard himself in an interview with Insider Gaming. He stated that if you want information on Indiana Jones, then you're going to have to wait till next year, which is going to be this year coming up. So hopefully we can get an Indiana Jones reveal and see what Machine Games is capable of when they're not working on Wolfenstein. There's also potential for Gears of War 6 announcement in 2024, and this is coming from the level designer over at the Coalition Games. He states, see you in 2024, hashtag Gears fam, in response to Happy Holidays Gears from the main Gears of War account. Now, this is exciting. This is something that we've been waiting for for a very long time. The Coalition is a team that I feel like just needs to focus on their own stuff. They have been helping out so many studios. They've been helping out Epic. They've been helping out the State of Decay team. They've just been going around getting pulled from every single direction and they just need to focus on their games. I, they had a game that was supposed to be coming out but ended up getting scrapped. So now they're probably focusing on gear six and what is gear six going to be is it going to go back to being the horror element that we all miss or are they just going to try to conclude the story of kate diaz and kind of move on from this franchise what are their plans we don't know and hopefully in 2024 we can finally get an idea now I know this is a lot of information. There's a lot going on in 2024 for Xbox, and this is why I am so excited to see what they have to offer because we know that we have all of these major releases coming from them. We know that we have all these Game Pass editions coming, but the thing is, is these are the things that we know about now. We know that they are going to introduce more, they're gonna have more announcements, and they're gonna to continue to dominate and show people that Xbox is the next big thing yeah i'm just excited overall to see xbox finally hit that stride that we've all been waiting for that we've been hearing since 2018 it is finally here and it is awesome to see it's awesome to be able to visualize this it's awesome to be able to see the plans and the inner workings over at xbox and this is just amazing it is amazing to be an xbox fan it is good we are eating good over here and i can't wait to see all the surprises that we have in store in 2024 so what do you guys think? What is your most anticipated game of 2024 when it comes down to Xbox? What is your most anticipated Game Pass edition that they've officially announced? Let me know in the comment section below. Please hit that subscribe button. There's a subscribe button down there. Hit that notification bell, like, comment, do all of that because I really appreciate it. I love having conversations with you guys. But that is all for this video. I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Remember, take it easy.